Uh, we'll call the meeting to order. If you would please, uh, March 12th, 2024. If you would please uh, stand and we will, uh, Wayne will give the invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day and we thank you for the beautiful weather you've given us. So we thank you for this uh, meeting place. We just ask you to bless it and bless this meeting. Bless each and every one of us. Take a good safe. Just ask you to die in the rest of the Give you the honor and the glory. Thank you. Amen. Look, we'll pledge the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, the indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The agenda? Sure. You got one. Thank you. Did you get a tool here yet? Um, yeah, we're good. Thank you. Okay, we will uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. I don't think this will be a very long meeting, but uh, all the information will be very, uh, very important getting ready for the summer. So, if we could, please, we'll move on to Hilda. If you'll give us the roll call. Glenn Hunter. Here. Tom Trammell. Here. Vonda Ackerson. Here. James Baker. Here. Mike Davis. Here. Sammy Keene. Here. Tommy Matthews. Here. Rick Palm. Rick, Rick called. I'll, I'll discuss that. Okay. And Kathy Riker called. Right. Wayne Sellers. Here. Charlie Thompson. Here. Terry Hester. Here. Mickey Olson. Um, uh, oh, gosh. Vicki Sellers. Here. <laughs> Bill Brim. Here. Judy Brim. Here. And Stephanie Watson. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Hilda. Um, so, request for the board to approve excused members. All called in. So, we have a motion. Second. Motion and second. Motion was by James. Thank you. Second by Charlie. Any discussion? All in favor of motion say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion passes. Uh, got some information. Uh, Rick Palm um, has resigned, and uh, so has Kathy Riker resigned. So that would leave um, a couple of spaces on the board. What I'd like to do, we've already brought uh, one member up to the board. Rick was also brought up. So I'd like to bring Judy Brim to fill Kathy Reichert's uh, spot on the board. And I think with that being said, we still will be down one member. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So Judy, welcome to the board. Okay. So board members, you have a copy of the agenda. We have a motion. To go ahead and look over the agenda and then we need a motion to approve. Motion by Sam. Second. second by Charlie. Any discussion on the agenda? All for the motion say aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. We'll move on to the members, uh, I mean, the minutes for the February meeting, uh, the first meeting in February. The, the minutes for the second meeting aren't ready. They'll be ready for the uh, April meeting and we'll approve them there on the special meeting that we had. Or, or it wasn't really so much a special meeting, it was a, a, a call meeting. So you have the minutes, Hilda? Each board member has a copy. Any, uh, I want to thank Vicki because she uh, provided the detail that I was missing from what she reported with the bank and with the savings um, uh, interest savings account. So thank you. And I would encourage all of you who have those types of things to send me your meeting notes so that I can really include them. Now, you're, you're sending your notes directly to the website, right? My notes? Should treat no, your, no? No, I send, I give them to the board and the board keeps them. The board. Okay. Do I need to do anything with his report? We don't need to put his report. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. So um, that's it. 
Thank you, Vic. Okay. Board members, you have a copy of the minutes. Motion to approve the minutes for February. Motion by Charlie. Second. Second by Wayne. Any discussion on the minutes? All in favor of the motion, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passed. We'll move on now to the secretary's report. Do you have anything else in order to yep. report? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll move on to the treasurer's report. Vicki? Okay, as of the end of February, February 29th, the Seacoast checking account, which is our working fund, was down to 13,885.89. Our reserve savings account was $50,050.80. And our membership account was up to 137.754 for a total of 201,690.69. Um, our total expenditures for February were 8,618.26, and our total deposits was 39,929. And on the back is your P&L for the month. There's really nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, we paid some insurance, 1,179.78. Uh, anybody have any questions on the P&L? Be straightforward. Okay. Um, after you approve that, I have something. You have something else? After you approve okay. that. Okay. Okay. So, board members, you motion to you have approve a copy of the um, financials of the financial report with the expenditures for the month. So, we'll be approving all the expenditures for February. What's you're making a motion, Charlie? Making a motion to approve the financial report. Second, second by Mr. Trammell. We have any discussion on the financial report? <laughs> All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Okay, Vicki. Um, last month, the board gave me verbal approval to uh, open up a CD at Seacoast um, with better interest rates. So, um, the end of last week, that was established and it was just made available today where I could see it on my screen. Um, she moved the fifty thousand dollars out of our savings account into the CD. We have to have a minimum of five hundred dollars to keep the savings account open. So she moved four hundred and fifty dollars from our working account to savings, so that we'll have like an even five hundred dollars in that account. Uh, our working fund is down to less than ten thousand, and we spend anywhere from eight to ten thousand a month on expenses. So um, I was going to ask, since our membership account is up to 130, almost 139, um, and membership is kind of dwindling now, it's only a few coming through, can I have permission to move 136,000 out of the membership account into the working fund so we don't have to keep doing this every few months? Back into the checking account? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, because this is going to be your uh, busy time for you. So. Yeah, during the summer, we'll have quite a bit of expense. Okay, board members, you any want to have any discussion on that? What's the pleasure of the board? They do it. Is this about the time we do that? Yeah, after membership yeah. dwindles down and we pretty well have most of the keys distributed, and now it's just piecemeal. Okay. So we, we can we kind of have a motion to do that, I guess. We might as well go ahead and have a motion. Mr. Chairman, if, if you would please state how you put the motion to read. Um, you're giving the financial, the treasurer permission to move $136,000 from our membership checking account to the checking account, which is our working fund. So Mr. Chairman, so we have a second. Second, by, I'm sorry. We might be. Well, let's get a second, and then we can we can discuss it. Uh, you make a second. Okay, we'll get. My question was: Does that account have any interest in the banks? Yeah. Okay. That's my only question. And that the money that was in that um, savings yes. account has probably been there for three years, and we've made fifty dollars. So this is an opportunity that if we can renew it every 90 days, if we wish, we can make some more money off of it. That's not that money. Thank you. You have to 
<laughs> okay, we have a motion and second. Is there any more discussion? Who was the second on that? James Baker. Okay. Not hearing any. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Vicki, you have anything else? No. Okay, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Sellers, I guess. Okay. I have two things to talk about. I'll talk about spinning fry on down. Okay, so we're, we're going to, you're going to uh, give your report, Madam President? Yeah, I'll do, okay. I'll do. We're going to do our Easter thing on March the 30th, 10 to 12 at Outer Park for the kids. I'm going to be posting that on Facebook. Um, oh, wait, March 30th is the Easter what? The Easter egg hunt. Okay, and, and it starts at 10 to 12. Thank you. Yeah. And another thing I wanted to discuss with the board is keys. Okay, for some reason, I don't know what's going on this year. It's taken up to two months for people to get their keys in the mail, which is ridiculous. I had my daughter mail something on Valentine's Day, didn't even get to her dad, never has. Well, let me ask you this question before you go any further. Where are you mailing them from? Fort White. Fort White, okay. Now, they will keep them in house at Fort White. And mail them to Fort White people, but the rest of them has to go to Jacksonville. Even though we got non machinable stamps on them, even though I'm putting on it three times non machinable, they're still shipping them through machines. Mm -hmm. So I've had a couple people, I believe, that has called me and told me they didn't get their keys and gave me the evidence and stuff like that. But also, I have a problem with members coming to me and saying they didn't get their keys this one person was lives in fort white so i know it got built out of fort white so she comes over to my house and i match up her key the key looks like it's about 10 years old doesn't even match up with this year's keys and tells me that if i don't replace her keys and she wants her money back so i would like to make it where People have to pick up their keys. Yeah. Same for them. I'm saying. I'm listening. Yeah. I just hadn't jumped on it yet, yeah. but I'm listening. But maybe we could yeah. do something like that and maybe do a, a two day mail and they're responsible for having it shipped to them and then they have to sign for it. Somehow they have to sign for it. But then they also would have to pay the postage on it. And then if they don't get it, we're not going to replace it. And you're not paying for a key, you're paying for a membership. Yeah. Jimmy, this is a good discussion. James, you have a question? Yeah. Well, kind of like I'm doing mine on the electronic. That's a, there's a charge on the electronic. Right. So I really think it would be quite fair if somebody's not going to pick their keys up that they pay postage. We could send it like an insured. Like yeah. And even if they don't live here, at some point where they're going to use that key, they're coming here. Mm -hmm. And Terry's very accommodating. And if she were to go somewhere, she could leave them accessible. Just I must have thought. 20 sets of keys at my house. The people have asked me to hold until they come down. They're still sitting on my my table. You know what I mean? So how many incidents are you are you seeing? I had four. What really upset me was when that lady came over and that she only showed up with one key. Yeah. And I said, well, where's your other key? She goes, oh, I left it at home. But it was almost like, I don't know, I didn't believe it. Oh, that doesn't sound, no. that doesn't sound right. No. Um, so she should have come with two keys. Yeah. And the key that she came with sounds to me like it might have been an old key. No. And how do we know that she didn't get her keys or not? They were mailed? Yeah, out of Fort so Yeah. That's going to be that's going to be uh, really tough to deal with. And then, as far as doing refunds uh, back to folks, I, I'm not but sure. They're how not they're really going. paying for a key; they're paying for their membership. Uh, the correct. keys are correct. Correct. So the, the problem is, is that uh, you know, there's a lot of lot of things could be done in in kind of a fraud way with that. It, you know, that that could catch on if we start creating some kind of a, a, a process. Exception. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, this this is first year that this has happened. And you stamp your key, so there's no way yeah. you got an old key because you don't have the old key. No. Yeah. Although no, not in the yeah, not that, but no, last year we had a problem with the, and some of them will even have, where it went through machine, they have the envelope and you can see where the key, the key was, was there, there yeah. but then the, the things ripped out. So she went back 
and change the way she tapes it down to make it more secure. Yeah. But I sunk them with that machine when it hits that, it like slices. Yeah. Yeah. The end of the envelope. Do you put it back and tape over the end of the envelope to keep them from getting caught up? Is it the same people claiming that they didn't get their key, or is it new people? No, it's different people on the one that get shot out the envelope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, Terry, the the one person that, that could you, have you resolved that yet with that one? No, person? I told her. Okay, that one person that came with one key, and she's saying that we gave her a bad key. We don't keep bad keys. No. They're not even they're not even mixed together. No. Uh, and then you said that you looked at that key. So, to me, that sounds like somebody's trying to get a key, a free key. That's all I can say. Well, I told her I thought, well, I can't. I ain't got permission to replace keys. I have to bring it to the board. She goes, well, then I want my money back. Yeah. And I was just like, that was running out of the key. <laughs> See, there's 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 now possibly two keys floating around. Mm. So, and so now you you've got that number. Yeah. And so the gatekeepers mm -hmm. uh, can track that number when it, if it comes through, right? Yeah. So that would be uh, something we would want to watch out for. But mm -hmm. I don't know about the rest of the board, but I would I don't I don't know that I would uh, mm -hmm. refund. What's the, what, what's the board say? Yeah, James. Well, kind of like the whole issue is, is you pay for the membership, you don't pay for the keys. Yeah. Keys are the the issue is. Some of these that you can quite tell that it's not a viable claim. I think that's easy to dismiss, but any anybody else, I would think maybe to require a complaint with the post office where they're supposed to receive it when they file out. You can go to the post office online, whatever, fill out a complaint on damage or lost items. And if we were to ever consider replacing somebody's key, we want to see a copy of that letter. And also, if they get a key, that it's going to have an asterisk or something else added to that key with a note. So the gate greeter goes to check, and there's a key comes up with that number that doesn't have the asterisk. I mean, that person added up a poor key. Right. And then they should be suspended. I mean, I'm, that's just kind of. Well, if we, if we make this process too easy, uh, it'll explode. Yeah. yeah. No, she's been putting an R for reprint behind the new key, she puts an R so the gatekeepers will know that if the key comes through, that, does, that doesn't have an R on it, they will be confiscated. And they also have to pick them up if I do that. I've only had to deal with two people. But then they also brought the envelopes, Judy seen them, where you could tell it shot at the bottom of the envelope, the key or the mail machine. There, did, did we um have we solved anything? Nope. Okay, so but we have solved maybe one thing as it relates to that one key. Yeah. Um and there there was a request for a refund, and this mm -hmm. is into March now, and there's two keys out there. Mm -hmm. So what's what, what do you feel like board members in that regard? Motion to deny what the okay. evidence yeah. we have. They come back with more evidence, we can readdress it. Just that motion to deny. Sure. Yeah. It, well, I, I think we can just do this through a consensus of the board. We don't need to actually go into that. Do, do most, do all the board members feel that way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does anybody feel the other way? And we'll go forward with that. But that would be your prerogative, uh, Terry. Okay. Okay, that's all I have until I get down to the fish fry. Okay. Thank you, Terry. That's going to be a big one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll move on to the uh, park manager's report, Bill. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to make a, first of all, enough that everything I do, I try to make sure that my main job is to make sure the parks are as safe as I possibly can do. And in that entails my job. So if I see something, then I try to make sure it's taken care of. I bring it to the board's attention. So uh, if I don't see something, it's very hard for me to very well take care of it, you know. So if anybody sees something, they need to mention it uh, to a board member, and then it'll be brought to my attention. The gates have been uh, being closed more this lately, and um, and I hope that continues through the summer. Uh, the tree was removed from Point Park. Uh, that had, had roots washed out from it uh, by the ramp, the aluminum ramp that's there. There was a tree there. I'll call it the... Glen tree, and uh, <laughs> and so and that was done by Mike Smith, and 
and Trey, and I really appreciate it. They had their tractor down there. There are a little bit of ruts there, but it's still wet. So when they, you know, if somebody, if they're not in the way of anything, they're not going to cause any issue. And if somebody gets over in the wetlands and walks around in there, they may get muddy. Uh, so if they feel like they want to go over there and rake it out and fill it in, you know, that's fine. There's one issue that's uh, at the camping park that's uh, concerning me. Beer cans and bottles, another pitcher, as well as a plastic play gun, was left on the rafter of the pavilion again. Now, I don't understand the issue with the pitchers. I, have, I, I do understand, I think, but I don't know who the people are. I could care less. And it's not their place to hang pitchers, first of all. Second of all, it's not their place to put beer cans and beer bottles above people's heads. And uh, and the third third thing is the plastic gun. What are they leading to on the plastic gun? What's it mean? You know, does it mean they're threatening me because I'm taking them down, or does it? What does it mean? You know, so whoever's doing it, <clears throat> let's just keep removing it. Yeah, well, it, it means somebody took it away from their kid and stuck it in the rain. Yeah, no, it was all. <laughs> is it a water gun? Yeah. Does it work? Uh, yeah, I got, <laughs> maybe they'll want it back. Here. Does uh, is there a way to close off the rafter so they can't set your bottles and stuff up there? They'll figure something out. You know, if I put wire up there or something, they'd hang it off of it. You know what I mean? No. Uh, I think it's a there's 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 a group that just well, well I got a well, I got a pretty good that. idea who it is, but you know, uh, you know how that is. We don't have uh, cameras. Not down there. But um, that's uncalled for anyway, you know, and it's and it's the same person I've had to deal with. And so the plastic gun thing, you know, they may think it's a joke. I don't think it's a joke at all, you know. Uh, uh, say it's OK. And next thing is I got is uh, no vehicles uh, will be going into, especially right now. Brennan Park or Fishing Park, okay, yeah, everybody, because uh, it's still wet. Uh, dogs are still being taken into the parks. It appears to be the same people for the most part. I still hear people saying that they're, I talk to people down there. I say, I, do you, I ask them, do you see dogs in the park when you come? Oh, yeah, it's a regular occurrence. Whenever they don't see me around, people bring their dogs down there, and it's the same, same people. So, uh I, like I said, my job is to keep the park safe, so that's what I'm doing, and uh, I'm thinking you're, you're doing exactly what we ask you to do. That's Bill. right. You, just, yeah. you can't you can't win every uh, no I know battle, that. but you and I've had to win the war, but you can't win every battle. Yeah, the people need to be at least the ones that are trying to act like what's my call it's the, they need to be they've named and maybe I don't know. Uh, grass cutting season is upon us. Um, so any members that really want to be part of this, um, members in good standing, please pick up twigs and branches and stuff. That would be very helpful for the grass cutting starting season. Uh, members pop and get propping gates open or dummy locking padlocks will be caught on cameras and then turned over to the board. That information turned over to the board. So that's a common occurrence there too. The dummy lock thing that kind of got to me. Uh, let's see. We had some boats that were moored up at Hodor Park. It appears that we have a few Facebook professionals. Uh, I will call sh the sheriff's department if people are mooring or trespassing on our properties and let them sort it out. Okay, I'm not going to make this decision on water lines or water this or water that. They're on our property. I'm calling the sheriff for trespassing, and then they can decide sure. how it's going to handle it. This crap of calling these people, and then uh, let's see. Somebody moved a rock over on a ramp, on that boat ramp, so it made it a little bit difficult. It wasn't terrible, but it was enough for some somebody to complain that they can't get their boat in. Uh, and I got to thinking about that. That probably was a lot easier to move in high water. So, I mean, anybody could have. Well, it didn't float over there. No, but it was a lot easier to put in the water. It would have had to go upstream, too. Yeah, that was Columbia boat ramp, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the rock was removed from the boat ramp. It, 
I didn't get uh, uh, thanks to Dan Ackerson for removing it with his tractor. And then uh, if any members on Facebook and Facebook Warriors have any issues about my job and what is required of me, please call Glenn Hunter, Terry Hester, Tommy Trammell, and Vonda Ackerson. And that goes for both sides of the dang place. Well, thank you for not putting my name on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm only getting good calls. And some people appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just, yeah, I, we get these Facebook warriors out there, you know, Sorry. and they just want to do this and do this, and they think they know everything. And they don't know how. I wouldn't know because I don't do Facebook. So. Well, I don't. I keep an eye on it because sometimes that's where people say there's an issue with one of the parks. Any, any board members have any questions for Bill on his report? Okay. Um, Bill, you pretty much take care of the maintenance uh, yeah. committee just because of your rounds and whatever. You, yeah, you yeah. Tommy, Tommy, we've about exploded your budget. So. He's very quiet. So you, you don't have nothing to do. Uh, do you have anything to report, Tommy? Okay. All right. So we'll move on into communications report. Um, I just have the membership. So we're at March of 2024. The Columbia County side, we have 626 members. Swanee County side, we have 220 members. So right now we're at a total of 846 members. Wow. What is the total? 846. Thank you. Do you have an idea what that was uh, last year by this time? We're running a, around the same. About 100 more than we did before. I'll, I'll, I'll pull it back. I think we're running about. Oh, about the same number. Mm -hmm. at, at I think ours just came in in a. I got you. Okay. That's pretty good. Away. Okay. But nothing else. She's covered the um, the egg hunt, and she's got the fish fry coming. So that's really all for now. It's been pretty quiet. Well, what, when is the fish fry? It's, it's, be, it's, yeah. it's coming April up next. Six, isn't it? We're going to start at 12 o'clock. I need all my board members there to start frying fish that morning. Um, Starts at what time? 12 o'clock. We'll start serving. Did you determine the charge? I was going to talk about that in a minute. Okay, sorry. Has fish come down? Has <laughs> anything? Um, I've done over five. Sorry. Okay. Um, Twelve o'clock. We're going to start feeding. Kathy Riker is going to get the busy bees to help serve the food. And I need any members to bring desserts that wants to bring dessert. And I was coming back from Gainesville the other day, and I noticed a uh, place where Mike Wilson sells fish or serves fish at the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. They went up to eleven dollars on their plates. Catholics make money. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Why no? I was just saying. Not saying in a bad way, yeah. but they, they they make money. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're not trying to make any money. So we done last year. We done eight fifty and nine dollars. Stay the same. Stay That'd same. be my recommendation. Okay. Whatever the board wants to do. So stay at 859. Is everybody agree with that on the Which board? one is it? 850 for children. I mean, it'd be four for children. I thought we should. Well, I was confused. Yeah. Oh, I'm confused. Okay. Um, I'm not been feeling good. So, give me a break. So, so we're doing 850 for adults. Is that what you're saying? 850 or nine. Make it Make even. Yeah. How about we, if we got to do one of the others, choose nine so we ain't got to count change. Yeah, make it easy on nine the sounds good. All them quarters. No, is the board good with that? Nine dollars? Yeah. We have one ten and a bunch of nines. Any more nines? Any more tens? He's still getting it. He's trying to get it. <laughs> He's trying to get more money on his He's building. <laughs> he wants to order signs. He needs some sign money. Here's the sign. What, what's any other any other board members have any comment about the meeting set at ten up before? Yeah, uh, Friday at five o'clock. What we usually been doing. Five o'clock Friday. Hey, not gonna have to bend over this year. It's on a uh, rack. Yeah, four dollars for <laughs> ten and under be four dollars, and then adults for nine dollars. And the menu is same. Fish, grits, 
Ten year olds want to go play. <laughs> now, last year we had codfish, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they, but the year before we had flounder, and it was real thin. Yeah, yeah, we didn't like the flounder. <laughs> so I got to pick it up. Okay, so let's uh, let's set a price. Uh, let's set a price that we all are happy with. What's what is it going to be? Yeah, nine dollars for adults and four for children. Yeah, nine for adults and four for children. How do we we good with that? Everybody except somebody. Um, except for somebody. Okay, so we'll do that then. That's nine and nine. Okay. Anything else on the fish fry? We've got, uh, we'll still have the guys set up over here. Yeah. And we'll I, get the new bill yeah, on supplies. Yeah, I'm not going to order an extra thing of oil this year like you asked for last year. Right, we were real close on that. Yeah, well, I touched puppy. Money. We had too many. We're going to have enough people. You guys have enough people to cook in as you always do, or? I don't know. I think we will. Uh, Sammy, you, would you be here that yes. day? April 6th. Sammy and Tommy and myself and Mike Davis and uh, Tommy Matthews. What day? Wayne. April. Okay, we'll be cooking. We'll cook. Steve Hale. Probably. Okay. What's that? Is that all you have on the. That's all for fish fry. Okay, so we'll move on to. Um, well, we didn't really uh, have any new business to bring up uh, right now, unless any board member does. Family, you have something or Baker? Good. You go I, I got a motion, Mr. Chairman, that, that when it's uh, appropriate and time. Okay. okay. Well, Jack's moral question was uh, I know that we had a couple of members due to concerns of safety, you know. Designing. Yes. And I was wondering, have they sent actual letters in yet? And if not, could we start hiring deputy for the same next six to eight months? That's that's really the uh, pleasure of the board. If you if you feel I'm, I'm good to go, whatever y'all want to do. I just it's a big expense. Mm -hmm. well, a, what do they charge us, Terry? No, like yeah, like hundred twenty dollars an hour. How much? Hundred twenty dollars. So if we keep our meetings to 30 minutes, that would be like uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, what I'm saying well, yeah, that's cheaper. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just the issues that some of the people have been having to deal with. I, I think the, I think <laughs> primarily I think primarily our, our issue has really only been with that one person. Yeah. And so um he's pretty much uh China. taking care of himself. I think we could literally uh I have a thought that we might uh, make sure that before our meetings, the patrol, the, that, those patrols the other night had to come from Columbia City. Mm -hmm. right. So that put them out at least 20, 25 minutes because they were already on the case working. But we kept we kept working with 911 to get them here. So but that it was too long. So potentially if whoever is uh, has this zone, who's managing this zone potentially, Maybe we could put them on notice because of the activity that we've had. They could actually be in the neighborhood at seven o'clock. And part of my work would be you could make that kind of a request. Uh, if there was a call, you couldn't be guaranteed it. But if there wasn't a call, you know, the request would be to be in that area, not necessarily standing in the building, but right. But that was a that was a that was a long way for them to have to come. Uh, that was I was surprised that I didn't know their zones were that tight. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I've made calls before. You, you wait 30 minutes before you ever see them. Mm. Right. So, but we made it clear to the 911 operator the full extent of what was going on and what the potential was. So they, they came as fast as they could. Yeah. So I understand what the limitation That's why I'm just kind of wondering because I haven't personally dealt with anybody, you know, putting their hands on me or doing this other stuff. Right. Some of these other members evidently. You know, there's other work they're doing or being, you know, threatened, you know, harassed. Correct. And that needs to be known, but that's not going to be tolerated. Right. And I hate to say it, but when you start looking at expenses due to people's bad behavior, bad behavior is going to have to be paid for by all the members. By know. somebody. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But that did, we're not doing any fining right now, which 
from what I can understand, we have the authority to uh, littering, violation of rules, this, that, and the other. That we could, you know, levy fines against people, you know, for. I think it was, I think really the other night, one of the attorneys to be here yeah. and to actually witness and see this because we had some very good conversations, but they all, they are working. They are now going to be working with the courts. We, we never could get there before. Now it's pretty clear um, it's related to that. So do you still feel that we should maybe have uh, hired uh, security here or is there another direction we may want to go to, to, to at least communicate each before each meeting and let them know that we have these meetings set and that we can call. Would anybody, well, maybe we can would anybody come back? But I mean, that's like anybody said, it's come like, back on the board if they right. Yeah. What the are doing and the harassment that they are receiving. Absolutely, I, I agree with that. Stop. I, agree. Uh, I don't have a high tolerance for it. I, uh, my thing is, is you know, if you're going to buy a ticket to ride, you're going to get it right. If it's like that, if you're going to disrespect everybody, you're going to act out in parks, you're going to violate the rules that have been on the books for 50 years. I don't know of any rule that's been added to that board that hasn't been there from the time I got my 1980. This is what the, the rules are. So I, I know there's people that are saying, well, we we'll make it up as we go along. It's like maybe they don't have a read because it's been on the books for at least 50 years. That's right. My thing is, is we're designated as an HOA. That's what the attorney said we are. The state recognizes us as that. The HOA can levy, you know, a fine or something. So, what I what I'll do is ask maybe Bill if that's something you might could do for us just to make that call uh, to ensure that yes we are actually having a meeting. Not that they because sometimes we have to call a meeting off or whatever, but if you could just ensure that maybe a few days before. Yeah, sure. There is a zone, um, there is a zone deputy, uh, or Tommy, what do you call them? A zone person? Yeah, zone, they call them districts. We, we call them zones. So, okay, so there is somebody in charge of the zone and if we make them aware of that. Do so you want them called two days before or one day before? Just so they're aware. What I would do is let them know that we have a calendar posted and where it's posted uh, for the meetings. Mm -hmm. We have a, we meet the second Tuesday and that we will also call just to reiterate that and make sure the meeting is going to be held. Great. Thank you. Okay. okay. I think that in the future, if we have to have another meeting, like we wasn't here, so I don't really know everything that happened just what I heard. A meeting of that type. Maybe for that kind of meeting, we could have one here. Yeah, we definitely should have for that one. Well, nobody knew that somebody was going to be. Well, the person that was there that wasn't even a member. That's right. So, nobody knew who was. I don't know how he got here. Or if you're not a member, you don't even know who He was a member. No. He's not a member in good standing now. Okay. Maybe we yeah. should check that before we have our meetings. And if you're not a member in good standing, you don't attend. That's been the problem because of the way the sheriff's office has been interpreting this the state homeowners association rules, and so they're waiting for us to they're waiting for us to do something stupid, and so you remember I think we all remember that they said they could not remove certain people from the park because yeah. their um, their their land purchases mm -hmm. consider them to be a member. But now our attorneys are going to work on the fact of member in good standing. That's that's the direction we're going, and they're work going to be working with the courts on that. So that will be just what you said. The sheriff's not recognizing that right now. Okay. Mr. Lavender needs to be property on on books as far as the county's concerned. Right. It does not have a, not listed as a well or septic on it, but I guess there's a an old camper or something there that he's supposed to have been living in. Oh wow. Well, nobody's filed yeah. a complaint against it, so I mean, he couldn't. There's no way he could be pulling that off. He's in total violation of county codes, but nobody's filed a complaint. So, okay. Is it, is, are you? Uh, I'm in, I think so. Just, yeah, we're going to call, and like I said, if there's something out of the ordinary that comes up, All right? It could be contentious. Yeah, I think it'd be good. And I, and I want to say this too. Um, that meeting the other night. Uh, very proud of the way the board and our, our members that were here conducted themselves. 
uh, that really could have gotten out of hand. I mean, the, the individual, uh, it was pretty obvious that he'd been drinking yeah. and he was, he, he, it wouldn't have taken much for that to get completely out of control. Then it would have really turned into something that we couldn't, we couldn't rub it off. If you understand what I'm saying. So I really appreciate the way the board and, and our members handled that. It's done very well. Okay, Mr. Trammell. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. In line with what we're discussing, and until uh, our attorneys can help us with the um, clarifying of our authority that we already have, um, and given our many ongoing experiences with uh, Hank Lambert, uh, I move that we authorize our attorney to petition the court for an order that would permanently exclude Hank Lowry from all Trepo parks, rents, and other Trepo community properties based upon his uh, ongoing violent and disruptive behavior. And this behavior which has placed members in safety at risk. And we discussed this ad nauseum. Uh, further, that this order includes language that would authorize law enforcement to arrest upon any violation of that order. And they can do that. It can be included in the order itself. I think we're all like Popeye. We've had an, all we can stand, we can't stand us no more. And as Mr. Baker pointed out, uh, the rules are no good unless we enforce them. Now, I know that the attorney is going to work on giving us uh, the clarifying that the authority that we already have. This might be the, the impetus for him to, to be able to push it forward. But, but yeah. Hank Lowry is, is one, what well, actually I would tell you right now, he's the primary problem. And he, he's, uh, he's threatened people, he's assaulted people, he's disrupted meeting after meeting. And uh, I, for one, have had enough. So I think that's one of the things that we can hire our attorney to do until such time as we do get clarification on our authority is to go ahead and petition the court for this order uh, to exclude him permanently from all parks, all property, all community property. And let's keep in mind, he's not a uh, member in good standing. He does not pay his dues. So he he really can't do, he can't go to these places anyway. But this would this would make it permanent. As far as I'm concerned, he's more than well. Be a good first step going forward with what we've already been wanting to try to do. So I'll second it. Have a motion by Mr. Trammell and a second by Mr. Matthews. Any, any further discussion on Mr. Trammell's motion? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? There's a lot of words, Tommy, so we'll, uh, we may have to go back to, on the tape and get all that down, but I'll, I'll contact uh, Mr. McCarthy and Mr. Falk on that. Uh, if you need any help, I'll be happy to. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, Thank you. Just on some old business, uh, just to, to, to let this board know, because the board, you're aware of the uh, the suit that's been filed against Trepo, Jesse Crane versus uh, Three River State Property Owners Association. Our attorney group uh, with auto owners um, has filed a response to that uh, complaint, and uh, they are now working together with our attorneys in Gainesville. Our attorneys who work for the board, our insurance carriers are auto owners. And so auto owners is, is taking that case and they're, they're managing it for us. Just to let you know, that's, that response has been filed. So with that said, uh, we'll move on to Property owners' comments. Property owners want to speak. Jones. I have a question. Do we have a, any park that we can take our dogs to? Yeah. Camping and fishing. Camping and fishing. what? Which park is that that's available for dog? Camping, camping park and fishing. fishing park. What? Camping park and fishing park. Camping park and fishing park. Camping yeah. park's really Camping nice. Park and fishing. Let me let me interject. There is is that is that on the signage? It is now. Yeah. Isn't it's it on the signage? Yeah. Yeah. It says that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I've I've looked at the signs and I, you know they get mixed up in my head too. But we've been telling people they can go to camping park, fishing park, and even bridge you know bridge park. You know, main reason is those parks were is because they're not. 100 people in them all the time, or you know, during that's right. during the on a leash, still though. but they're still supposed to be on a leash right. and supposed to be controlled. But you know, like I was said in my report, that, that it's the same right. folks, Glenn. Right, Glenn. the rules say that dogs must be kept on a leash, you must clean up after your pet, and the feet park features are oh. fishing park. 
Mm-hmm. We can go to to the um. Yes. Yeah. I'll pull up the rules for camping real quick. Yeah. Camping park, fishing park, we, and we, we've got fishing park. We've determined that just the two. He's yep, fishing camping right now. Uh, yeah. Camping park says pets must be on a leash. Yeah. So, yep. They, There's a nice walkway there now. Yeah. What about Bridge Park, Todd? I'm checking Bridge Park now. I don't think so. I don't think so either, but I'll look. I had someone ask me, and I wanted to have the proper information. And where are you pulling that up from? From the website? Yes, from Trepo.net. Trepo.net on the website. Uh, you, see, you see rules for each park? Yes. Okay. You can click on each park and look at the rules for that park. I don't see anything about pet. Nope. Okay, so we... No, just service dogs. Um, at Bridge Park. Uh, oh, they are. Pets are allowed on a leash at fishing and okay. yeah, camping. Oh, so, uh, not, not Bridge Park. park. Mm -hmm. Only fishing and camping. Though. Only camping and fishing. Correct. That's correct. Only camping. All right. Mm -hmm. um, Jesse has something. Well, I just noticed that there's been a lot of grievances in the last week, five or six years about the sheriff's office not doing everything they can, not being on time, and lots of complaints from the, the board. I was just thinking it's an election year. We got Wally Kitchens running for sheriff. Maybe the board would like to endorse Mr. Kitchens for sheriff and maybe we get a different outcome. It's not a political group. We can't endorse anybody. Yeah, we, we won't be doing any political endorsements. <laughs> Thank you. You can look at my yard and you see my sign. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> okay, yes, sir. Stole my sign. I've got something to say about the meddling with the key deal. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the proper key in China, but. I have had the worst luck in Florida trying to put things anywhere else out of here. Two weeks ago, my employee mails me every two weeks uh, one of those certified, if it gets it, ships things, you know, with all my mail. Uh, it's three weeks out now. It's somewhere between here, Jacksonville, and Greenville, South Carolina. They have no idea where it is. Last year, I sent a certified check to Ice North Carolina. It went to Utah twice and came back to Jacksonville and finally showed up. So. People say they're not getting the keys. It's the post office. I can guarantee you it's the post office. And I'm not really sure it's this one here. These, these people have tried to help me here. They went and called me up and helped me out. But for the mail something, and it has to go to Jacksonville. It's like where I live, yep. it has to go to Atlanta, which is two hours away. Then it goes to Greenville, South Carolina, which is three hours away. And then it comes back to my neighbor if I mail him a letter. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no reason why the post office can't straighten this out. But is that I, why they run a budget deficit? I, yes. <laughs> it's a like part of the government. No need to say anymore. No. So it's but I've never in the world had this problem. I've been everywhere. It has stuff mailed to me. It don't get lost unless I'm down here. And I don't know if it's Jacksonville or Greenville or Atlanta, but anywhere else I go, it gets where I need it to go. And this again is those certified mail things. If they lose those, that's what I did. I sent a check to actual and it finally came back. I went to UPS and see it. You know, what I did on my well, I, think, I think what we'll do on, on our situation with the keys, uh, we'll get we're we're through this season. Oh yeah. But perhaps maybe we can debate this uh, and find is there any other means that we can go? We may have to tell our members that uh, we can't control what the post office does. We will. And if, if you want to check, maybe we can find some ways that you can say, hey, they mailed out. You can call us. We'll tell you it mailed out. That's okay. we, whatever we can do. If we, or if we have a, maybe we may have an email system that can send it out. Say your keys are mailed. If we have your email address. I mean, there's. A lot of possibilities, but we can't be responsible for what the post office does. First, now be fickle with that. Pay us another ten dollars. They have to have a signature. Yeah, send it to me. But a lot, but but a lot don't. A lot of you know. They'll fight you for a dollar. They'll fight you for a dollar. Yes, sir. The thing is, you don't you don't need a key if you're not coming here. So if you come here, we can't really get it. That's true. That's what I. What about have you guys checked? Okay, so let's do let's let's do this. Do we have anybody else yet, Jesse? One more thing. Um, for the meeting on the 27th, y'all said that I'm suing all the members personally. So I've had a couple people call me. And like you just said, I'm suing the association and the board of directors and not the members. So maybe that will clarify for people that watch the videos. 
It's not like what y'all say on the 27th where I'm suing all the members personally. That's not true. If I did that, every member would receive a summons from the sheriff's office that I'm suing them. Well, well please understand the attorney. We let the attorney address what the complaint was and how it was filed. We didn't. We did not even attempt to do any legal matters. Yeah. Personally, we let our attorneys handle it. However, he described it, Mr. Falk and Mr. McCarty, is exactly how it is. So you you would have to take that up with our attorneys to whatever filings you'll need to do. With they the were already on so, though. You yeah. guys are the ones. You're the one that said that after he was. <laughs> was just we're not. We can't not, speak about the case. Yeah, we're not really trying. We're no. We would no way want to malign or get involved in that process. We have enough to do. So is anybody else? All right. Meetings adjourned. Wait a minute. Let me have a motion, though. A motion to adjourn. So we got a motion and a second. Don't say aye. Aye. James and Charlie. No, that would have that would have been on the list. Here. <laughs>